The Requirements application provides three options for working with requirements. Requirements can be imported using JIRA in the form of user stories, epics, new features, or any other issue types we can regard as requirements. Import requirements by going to the import area of your folder structure here. Click on the three dots and then click on import requirements. Then select JIRA. You can see that requirements can also be imported using Excel, which means we can inject system field data and also custom field data into Zeph Enterprise. You may also natively type up requirements within Zeph Enterprise. So this requirement here has been created within Zeph Enterprise and therefore we can fill in the system fields as well as custom field data. Requirements are managed via a local folder structure and a global folder structure. So the local folder structure shows you requirements that are specific for 3.2, whereas the global folder structure shows you requirements across all releases. The imported folder shows you all of the requirements that have been imported via Excel or from JIRA. The idea is that once requirements have been imported, you can then put them into the global tree, which acts as a repository for all requirements across the releases. And then if you want to add some requirements to a particular set of requirements for a release, you go to either a singular requirement, a bunch of requirements, or the entire folder and allocate. So if you go with a single requirement, you use the allocate button. You can also select multiple requirements in this way and allocate them to all user stories folder as part of 3.2. You can also take an entire folder from the global tree and, and allocate the entire set of requirements from the folder in the global tree to the local tree. Requirements reports can also be generated. You can generate reports for singular requirements. You can also generate an entire traceability report. So if you select a folder or a bunch of requirements and either use the export option here or by selecting a couple of requirements using the export option here, you'll be presented with two options to either produce an entire traceability report or a requirements only report. The traceability report will show you all data for requirements linked to test cases, linked to cycle and phase data, as well as execution information and defect data. If the data for requirements and even for defects are being injected from JIRA, then the traceability report will show you all of your user stories, epics, new features, your requirements from JIRA connected to test cases in Zephyr, cycle and phase information in Zephyr, execution data in Zephyr, and also then your defect information from JIRA in one consolidated report, which can be in a variety of formats. The requirements only report will give you the requirements data and also some test case coverage information for the chosen requirements.